queens and handsome kings doing today how you all doing um it's a beautiful well it's a beautiful sunny day today for a change we've been getting a lot of gloomy days um rainy days here in memphis so today is actually my first day back uh, for work i'm just sitting here in the park for a few seconds i end up just leaving the dollar store I ended up having to get like a few items, but I was on a budget. I'm surprised I budget eleven dollars and thirty five cents, which was good. I end up and since I when I say your girl be on the budget, she on the budget. So since I seen some they got they sell like little trash bags for a dollar a piece, I end up racking on two, so I got two 
uh, things, the garbage bags for a, a dollar piece. I ended up giving me some uh, vanilla pudding because you all know I told you I'm cut. I had cut back on a lot of junk this year, sweet. So um, I still do like pudding, yogurts, parfaits, and stuff like that. Um, what else did I get? I needed some more toothpaste. They didn't have my Colgate because y'all know I love Colgate toothpaste. So um, I ended up just getting like some arm and hammer toothpaste. I hope it works uh, pretty good. What else did I get? Yeah, I think there was, oh yeah, two things of soap. I had got two packs of bar, um, little soap. They be selling like these little swab brand soaps. They like a dollar a piece and you get two in a two pack. So I just ended up just grabbing two. So that'll make four bars. That'll last me probably for a couple more, probably for about, maybe a week another week or so because i already got a look i think i'm down to like two bars already so i just wanted to stop back up i thank god that i went and got the toilet paper earlier because you all know i like i said i just my goal right now is just budgeting and budgeting and budgeting the best way i can yeah especially in the, you know well, how um, everything is going, I want to try to be able to budget and manage it. But I want to just come in and say how you all doing. It's a little nippy out here, but I'm not ready to go, you know, in the building just yet. Because, like I said, I've been out for a week. So this is actually my first day back. I hope it be, it don't be a challenge. I hope it be a, a, a productive day for me. It don't be stressful. And I end up doing my ponytail over. Yeah, I just, I probably rock this ponytail for probably another week. And then I'm going to wash my hair and probably um sew my hair back in if I found saw it I might just go back to the wig and sew it down. But yeah y'all I wanted to come in and start the vlog off and say hey my beautiful queen and have my handsome king doing y'all yeah minimum minimum makeup look too this is my I need to come up with another um makeup I'm gonna do another makeup video too pretty soon so you all can see but yeah this is just a little simple look that I do um daily on a daily basis it's basically like my go-to makeup look i don't got no eyeshadow on just a little uh, concealer minimal concealer um brows and a little on um, that lip gloss that i told you all that i bought a uh, while back from the dollar general but yeah you all see, but you all to probably see me uh, making my face up anyway because i actually did it earlier which would be included in the video but yeah i just want to come in and start the vlog off and say hey Hey y'all, I'm back. As you all can see in my little background, I'm currently still at work. But y'all, why I say well, when I say the devil is really busy and he trying to he, he trying to play with your girl. He really trying me. He trying to play with your girl. Now you all know I've been telling you all that I've been trying to cut back. Um, you know, not go to Starbucks so much because I was on a budget this year. Um, not saying that I won't go back to Starbucks, but due to, you know, the holidays and so much coming up, I've been trying to, you know, manage my money a little bit better. And then you all know this is actually my first day back at work. So that kind of took a toll on me that I had to, you know, request a week off. So I ended up checking my email with Amazon because I had ordered, I, I ordered some, some syrup from um, Amazon caramel syrup to go to go on my coffee, like especially for days like when I don't have sugar, I would prefer to, you know, put the coffee in there like when I make my own iced coffees at home because y'all know I'm trying to get more to, you know, make my coffee at home. Yeah, why I checked my email, it's saying that it was delivered. They took a picture and everything of it. So I called my daughter a while ago to have her check and see what's the order outside. Y'all know somebody stole my package because all because of Amazon delivery person, whoever delivered the package, ended up throwing the box on the side of my house so they actually put my package on the porch. Y'all, when I say I'm so mad, but at the same time, I'm, I'm thankful as well because I have just got off the phone with an Amazon representative and they did, he was, he was very nice. I'm upset because the thing is they couldn't, you know, send me a replacement. He said they can't send me a replacement. I would have to request another order. So he did refund me my money back, which was good. So now I got to place a whole nother order. But I think what I might do, I might just end up, I'm going to see how much it is on Amazon. I mean, not Amazon. I'm going to look on Walmart website and see if they sell the caramel syrup as well. And I might you know, purchase it from there the next time I get paid, you know, um, but yeah, when I say this year, I don't know why this year want to be rocky and start off rocking with me, but you know what? That devil, he's not finna steal my joy, but I'm glad that the representative I got on the phone was very, you know, he was very helpful and nice. And I did tell him I appreciate his service. It's just so sad that people, some people don't want to work no more. And my thing is, if you're not happy with what you do, you know, you 
find you something that makes you happy. I mean, you know, I might not be where I want to be at, but I always make the best out of each day. Like, you know, um, I, I find some type of joy in my day because I know brighter days and, you know, God going to have something better in store for me. It's like people now, it's like some people is lost, you know. It just said, why would you throw a package on the side of the road and then a part of the town I stay in is, you know, people would would steal your clothes off your off your balcony if you leave them out there if they was able to get access to it and hanging them outside the dry so it just said like i told the customer service rep if i was at home i would have watched out for my own package and got it but you know what like i say the devil he's not he's not gonna steal my joy you're not gonna bring me down today no satan i said you're not gonna bring me down today you're not gonna bring me down. You're not. But yeah, yeah, that's my song, though. I got that song, uh, Danny Kane, when they first started out singing and working on their vocals. They, they were singing that song, and ever since then, that song been sticking with my head, like on the day, you know, where the enemy tried to attack, I get to singing, you're not gonna bring me down today. But yeah, y'all, I just want to come in and check in and let you all know that, because that really made me mad, but I'm glad that the problem was res resolved and a courteous, but I was really looking forward to that syrup because I was going to make me an iced coffee tomorrow, but I'm going to still make it anyway, even though I just, I just have to make it with sugar. But yeah, I'll be talking back with you all. Wow.